that I am the Christ that should come. Amen. I just want to point you to nobody but Jesus. First of all, go your way and tell John. And notice specifically we said John the Baptist and not John the disciple. Don't get them confused. John the Baptist did not write any books in the Bible. Only John the disciple wrote the gospel of Jesus Christ. First John, second John, third John, and the book of Revelation. So this message is being sent to John the Baptist. Look in your scripture lesson this morning at St. Luke 7.28. 7.28. Jesus said in St. Luke 7.28, For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom of of God is greater than he. Amen. Somebody. Your Bible student, you know that John the Baptist was a forerunner of Jesus Christ. And uh, what I loved about him was his humility. Amen. He went before Jesus. But everywhere he went, he would tell people that I'm not even worthy yeah. to stoop down. Yeah. Talk to me somebody. Yeah. They didn't have shoes back then and they had sandals. Yeah. I'm not even worthy to stoop down and tie up, amen, the strings of his sandals. Right. That's how humble he was. Yeah. yeah, he was so humble, so humble that he would let the people know that he is before me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Even though, amen, physically, John the Baptist, amen, was before Jesus Christ. Amen. Because his humility, he always put Christ first yeah. and himself last. Yeah. All right. And that's why I'm learning each and every day of my life listening to John the disciple and listening to John the Baptist when they made this statement, he must increase what I must see. Amen. Somebody. Self got to go down in order for Christ to come up. Self and Christ can't be on the throne at the same time. It's one or the other. Amen. I don't need to talk about John the I need to talk about this message, amen, that Jesus sent to him by way of his two disciples. Yes. Anybody excited about Jesus this morning? Yes. First of all, Jesus gave John's disciples this mission. Go and tell John yes. how that the blind see. Yes. Now, all through this message, I just want y'all to see the almighty power of Christ. Now, notice this first. This human problem was blind. But uh, Jesus said, I just want John to know I'm still on the scene and I'm giving sight to the blind. Let's go to St. Luke 18, chapter the 42nd and 43rd verse. And I'm still excited how the Lord does things in his own unique way. St. Luke, 18th chapter, the 42nd and the 43rd verse. Are you there? Thank God for his word this morning. St. Luke 18 42 and 43 says, Jesus said unto the blind man, 
receive thy sight. Guess what? Thy faith has saved thee. Now this is why I want to jump right here. I want to jump and immediately as soon as the Lord said it, he received your father. And followed him, glorifying God, and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Amen. Do y'all see the power of God on this place? This blind man just came to the Lord and said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said, notice the power in his word. Jesus just said, receive your sight. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Notice he didn't touch his eyes. He simply just spoke the word. I want you to know that he has almighty power. Yes, yes. Yes, and soon as the Lord spoke the word, immediately something happened. Do y'all see that power? Yes. See, see, power means the ability to change. Here's a man, amen, had never seen the sun no more. But as soon as the Lord spoke the word yeah. for the first time in his life, he was able to look up right. into the sky yeah. and see the sun. Yeah. And let me just tell you this morning, you don't know how blessed you are when you have eyes to see. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop complaining about your eyes. Thank God for the eyes. Amen. Amen. Always better than somebody else. We've got to move on. We've got a long train here to follow this morning. Second of all, uh, Jesus told John the disciples, you go your way and, and tell John that's in prison that the lame walk. That, that, that's power, y'all. Yeah. Amen. Amen. People paralyzed. And Jesus just speak the word, and they get up for the first time right. in their life and begin to walk. Right. That ain't no more power. Right. Well, well, Pastor, I've never seen that in the word, but let's go to St. Luke, fifth chapter, the 23rd to the 25th verse. St. Luke, fifth chapter, the 23rd through the 25th verse. Y'all seen the almighty power of God? Yeah. First displayed in the blind. Now we see it being displayed in the lame. St. Luke 5, 23 through 25. Whether it's easier to say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, rise up and walk. And walk. Uh -huh. But that she may know that the Son of Man had power upon earth to forgive sin, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise and take up thy couch and go into thine house. And as soon as Jesus gave the order, and immediately, every time I see that word, immediately, straightway, all at once. I don't know how long you've been there. Just And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house. Glorify God. I was in my shouting. Glorify God. He was shouting. Amen. Paralyzed. Was able to walk. But the Lord just gave him an all. That's what I love about God. God never tells you to do anything without giving you the strength, the might, and the power to do. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Notice, notice, notice. Let me help somebody. Some of many of us complaining and murmuring all the time, and you just don't know uh, how blessed you are. Know what the Lord said unto this paralyzed man. He said, Arise and take up thy couch. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, we got to have a fancy bed. 
They just had a child. Talk to me sometimes. You ought to be thankful for what God has blessed you with to lay down your head at night. This man took up his couch. I can see him in my mind. Amen. Rolling up his couch, going across his shoulder, and making his way to his house. Y'all listening this morning? Oh, I love this. Third of all, go thy way and tell John how the lepers are clean. Now, somebody was probably asking a question. Uh, Pastor, why did he have? tell John the Baptist this because John the Baptist didn't have the same picture of Jesus ministry as Jesus had right. most of the Jews thought that Jesus came to earth on a political mission yeah. to set them free from political bond no ma'am no sir right. Jesus Declare, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Yeah. So they had been in the bondage so long that they thought that Jesus was going to set them free. So Jesus had to tell John his specific mission. So notice here, go your way and tell John how the lepers are cleansed. That's the worst condition. Yeah. That any man, mm -hmm. any woman, yeah. any boy, mm -hmm. any girl can be found. Yeah. Leprosy breaks out from their head, spreads all yeah. over your body, down to yeah. your feet. Yeah. Leprosy. But I want to tell you this morning on the authority of God's word, God specialized in doing the impossible. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I want to get this out your mind, what you got from man, and put in your mind what God said. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop telling yourself that there are incurable diseases. That's a lie from man. But the truth from God is God can do what no other person. Holy Ghost power can do. No man, no man was known to clean leprosy. I wish I had time to go back to the Old Testament and talk about man. Yes. God had divine, divine cure. Yeah. Amen. He didn't order nothing from the drugstore. He gave them all. I want to go and give the second time yeah. in the river. And he had a hang up about it because the river was a nice river. Yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me I'm a king? I'm going? God said, I don't change my message. The king is just as equal as the peasant in my eyes. Seven times. But I'm going to stay in the New Testament moment. Because I want y'all to see nothing but the almighty power of God. Amen. Yeah, I want to get your attention this moment. I want to get your attention this moment. There is nothing that is impossible with God. Amen. What is impossible for man is just right for God. Amen. Let's see. Let's go to St. Luke 5, 12, and 13. St. Luke 5, 12, and 13. St. Luke 5, 12, 13 says... And it came to pass when he was in a certain city. Behold, a man full of leprosy, who seen Jesus, fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Right. Lord, have mercy. Right. A man who was a leprosy, I got so much faith in you, if you decide, guess what? I know I can be clean. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me somebody. Yeah. And notice the 13th verse, and he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will 
I have decided, since you said, if I decide, I want you to know I have decided because you have decided. And if two or three agree, y'all ain't going to be there. there. Yeah. You might see the thing in his name. He declared he'll do. Yeah. And he did it for his left foot right here. He it is. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will. Yeah. You know what I will mean? Lord, shall I decide? Yeah. I decide. I decide. Be thou clean. And he did the second time. I go to shout. And immediately, the leper said, departed. Y'all don't see all my power of God. It departed from him. He could sing like we sing. I looked at my hand. My hands looked at me. Looked at my feet. They did too. I used to be spotted from my head to my feet, but now I'm no spot. No way home. Spoke the word. Don't, don't miss this. I want y'all to miss this. Not only is Jesus the master of death, but Jesus is the master of disease. Anytime Jesus speaks to a disease, a disease got to obey him.
And Jesus stopped the front and said, touch the coat and say, I'll say I'm not talking to anybody else, not the ones carrying the coat, but you in the coat, all right? I know that when you're dead, you ain't done. I'm glad I know that for my 
I'm saying. That's why I don't like to hear people say that to me. Yeah. 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 Book says a quote it wants for man to die and after then the judgment. Yeah. Yeah. But I got good news for you. Yeah. Just as sure as I go down in the grave, I got to come about for you.